Parker. I thought it was going to be about a soldier that gets recalled into the army needing to go back to Iraq after already having gone. But it's not about that. And it is about that. I uh, was in the military for four years, and three of it on active duty, and one of it in the National Guard. And this story is a combination of some experiences that happened both active duty and in the National Guard. My character, he's in the National Guard, and then he gets the call to go to Iraq, which he never thought was going to happen. And um, his father gives him the opportunity to get out of going. Then when he goes to see all of his buddies, all of the soldiers that he works with, he realizes something isn't right. I'm sorry, I had to turn down your compassionate reassignment. You're going to be deploying with the rest of us. You're the best damn medic in brigade and the best damn paramedic in the FDNY. This is my son we are talking about. He is sick. He's unprepared to leave uh, for the length of time that he has to leave. And the worst case scenario for him is that his son does get sick and pass away while he's over there. One guy is dealing with a wall, which is which is a, a no no. And he's doing it for the right reason because he wants to get home to his son who's sick. Then you have Sefton, who is in a critical position because he wants to help Reyes, which is my character, get to his son and help him sneak off the base. But at the same time, he knows, like I know, and like all the soldiers know that that's against the rules and you can't do it. It's not just AWOL. You leave now and this unit's about to go to war, it's fucking desertion. And if I help you, I am on the hook for aiding a deserter. Exploring a group of soldiers on the night before they go to war, to me, was fascinating. And most importantly, citizen soldiers, weekend warriors, the night before they go to war, because they're about to leave their families and their jobs and their whole other lives. This film, I think, is a very even-handed, balanced, showing you a lot of different sides of uh, army existence, army life, pros and cons. And um, I think it's fascinating that, I mean, everyone involved with it, the producers, the director, were in the Army. So I think they know from whence they speak. Visually, we were going for a state of claustrophobia, the world of uh, purgatory. Uh, this was like a way station, the last stop before these guys go off to Iraq. And ultimately, from a story standpoint, it's very much of a genre prison escape thriller. I like movies, and I think the dramatic circumstances are much more interesting if two people think they're both right. And they both have very strong arguments for that. The conflict is great, and the audience is really put in a very interesting position. You know, where do you put your loyalties? It makes for much more interesting, certainly within the sort of genre of the prison escape thriller, especially when you've got the guys escaping who have their set of reasons, and they think they're right, and the guys who are pursuing they also have very strong reasons, not simply just to like catch them for catching them sick. I saw you at the back gate. Whose number is that in your phone? I was headed back to the motor pool. I like the fact that the movie doesn't take sides. It sides with both the army's position and the soldier's position. And it doesn't, uh, it's not really black and white in terms of, uh, you know, the army is bad and the people trying to get out of it are good. It has empathy for the human position in this, which is Reyes and his, uh, his need to be with his sick child. And it also has empathy for the army's position, which is that it's short on men. When you're in the middle side of the city and an IED blew your fucking guts out of your body and you're bleeding out, you will ask yourself, where the fuck is Reyes? in terms of story structure and, you know, what people are used to usually, like a good guy and a bad guy, especially in a military-themed film. This is something that um, I think people will question their own loyalty to self, to family, to country. There's a huge gray area. You're not necessarily in a situation where there's a clear right and there's a clear wrong. And I think too many times in military movies, they sort of paint these very, very way too unrealistic black and white situations. And it's never that easy. And I think anybody with any sort of military experience is going to tell you that uh, it's always about the lesser of two evils. I hope that people see that the issue of Iraq and Afghanistan and war in general is much more complex um, than the media sometimes makes it out to be. It's been a lot of army movies, but this one is definitely different. It's a lot of everything. You have dramatic moments, action moments, fun moments, and I just can't wait for the people to see it.